Welcome to Jojo Gnome's Story Podcast with Jo Hall, brought to you from a garden shed in Scotland. Hi there, how are you doing? Well, Jojo Gnome and I are having to spend quite a lot of time inside just now. What about you? Are you spending time inside too? Well, today's story is all about what happens when Jojo Gnome has to go to school, but inside his own house. It's called Jojo Gnome and Homeschool. This is so unfair, said Jojo Gnome to his grandpa. Grandpa Gnome, Auntie Molly and Jojo were all sitting around the kitchen table having tea. Grandpa Gnome had got a letter that day and was reading it to Jojo Gnome and Auntie Molly. Well, we can't do anything about it, Jojo, said Grandpa. Everyone in the village is having to stay at home for a while to make sure no one catches the germ that's going around. But I want to go to school, said Jojo Gnome. I love school. School's closing too, said Auntie Molly. Well, if I can't go to school, I'll just have to go to my pals and play with them. Jojo smiled. That might be great. We can just play all day. Grandpa Gnome shook his head. No, Jojo, that's not how it works. You have to stay at home and your pals will have to stay in their homes too. The idea behind this is that we don't spread any germs to each other, said Grandpa Gnome. That's going to be so boring, said Jojo. That night, Jojo Gnome went to bed feeling very sad. He was a bit worried too and he didn't want his family to get sick. The next morning, when Jojo got up, he was feeling unhappy. Come on, Jojo, said Grandpa. Have some breakfast. I don't feel very hungry, said Jojo. I feel worried. Come and talk to Auntie Molly and I in the kitchen, said Grandpa Gnome. So Jojo Gnome told Auntie Molly and Grandpa how he was feeling. Auntie Molly and Grandpa listened to Jojo and explained to him the reason they were staying in the house and keeping distance from each other so they could all keep as well as they could. Is there anything apart from that we need to do to make sure we don't get sick? Asked Jojo no. Yes, we have to wash our hands several times a day really well and especially before we eat, said Grandpa. Oh, and if you sneeze or blow your nose, the tissue has to go right in the bin, said Auntie Molly. Can I still give you a hug, said Jojo Gnome. Oh, replied Auntie Molly, of course, I would miss it if I didn't get a hug. She laughed and she gave him a hug. Are you feeling less worried now, asked Grandpa Gnome. Yes, I don't have that big sad lump in my tummy anymore, said Jojo. Right. Time for breakfast, said Auntie Molly. Great, I'm hungry now, said Jojo. And then it will be time for school, said Grandpa Gnome. Eh, but you said school was shut, said Jojo. It is, but Auntie Molly and I have a surprise for you. After you've finished your cereal. After breakfast, Jojo went into the living room. There in the wall was a sign. It said, Jojo's Homeschool. Grandpa had moved a table into the middle of the room. On it were pencils, pens, books, tape, card, a magnifying glass and string and lots of other things. What's happening? asked Jojo Gnome. This is going to be your classroom where you can't go to school, said Grandpa Gnome. Okay, said Jojo, but there's not a teacher. Grandpa Gnome took off his normal looking green hat and put on a very strange looking square hat with a tassel. I'm going to be one of your teachers, said Grandpa. Auntie Molly took a large badge out of her pocket and put it on her blouse. It said, Teacher Molly. And I'm the other one, she said. Next, Grandpa Gnome pinned a bit of paper onto the wall. This is our class timetable, he explained. There was a list. It said, numbers, moving around, nature, cooking, Jojo's lesson, stories, and the last thing on the list was dancing. Wow, said Jojo, that sounds like a lot. 
Well, we better get started, said Grandpa Gnome. Grandpa decided the first thing they should do was look at the number five. So they drew the number five. And then they found lots of things in groups of five, including five flowers, five strawberries, and five apples. Next, Grandad decided to do the next two lessons together, moving around and nature. We're going to have a nature hunt in the house and garden, he said. So he handed Jojo Gnome a card with five things to find on it. A leaf, a flower, a bug, some water and something that Jojo Gnome would find interesting. Jojo found the leaf and the flower together in the house in one of Auntie Molly's pot plants. It took a bit longer to find the bug, but eventually he found one using a magnifying glass. It looked huge! The water was a big puddle, which Jojo Gnome couldn't help jumping into. Jojo Gnome took ages to find something interesting. Eventually he shouted to his grandpa, Come over here and look what I've found! When Grandpa Gnome came over, he saw Jojo Gnome looking at a spider making its web. They both stood for a long time and looked at it taking shape. Are we going to stop now? said Jojo Gnome. Yes, it's lunchtime, said Auntie Molly. You're going to help me make the sandwiches. So Jojo Gnome helped Auntie Molly and afterwards they washed their hands. What's Jojo's lesson? asked Jojo after lunch. Well, that's when you teach us something, replied Grandpa Gnome. Anything you like, really. Jojo thought for a minute. I know, he said. So he showed them how to use a hula hoop. Grandpa wasn't any good at it, but Auntie Molly was brilliant. Jojo Gnome was really enjoying himself. What's next, he said. Stories, said Grandpa. Grandpa brought out a brand new notebook. Right, you sit yourself down here and draw some pictures and tell us a story of what you've been doing today. Jojo enjoyed that. His drawings included five strawberries, a cheese sandwich and a big spider. One last thing, said Grandpa Gnome when Jojo Gnome had finished. Dancing. And Grandpa Gnome went to put on the music. Will we do the same things again tomorrow? Jojo asked Auntie Molly. No, Jojo. Tomorrow we'll find some different things to do. As Jojo, Grandpa and Auntie Molly danced their jumpy, jerky, jolly jig, Jojo thought homeschool might not be too bad after all. Did you enjoy that story? I did. Do you know, Jojo Gnome's had to do school at home for quite a wee while. So, he's had lots of Jojo Gnome lessons, as you'll hear in today's Story Starter. That's when I start the story and you finish it. So are you ready? Jojo Gnome was getting more used to his homeschool and having Auntie Molly and Grandpa as his teachers. But the part of the day he loved best was the Jojo Gnome lesson, when he taught Auntie Molly and Grandpa Gnome something new. So far, they'd made paper planes, he taught them several dances, and they'd made new games using hula hoops. Today, when Auntie Molly and Grandpa Gnome came into the classroom, the table was covered with lots of things. Several sheets of paper, paint, lots of coloured pencils, glue and an empty egg carton. Oh, this looks interesting, said Grandpa Gnome. What are we going to be doing? asked Auntie Molly. Well, said Jojo Gnome, I think you're going to enjoy this. And now, it's over to you to finish the story. Well, that's it for this Jojo Gnome Story Podcast. I hope you've enjoyed it. We have. So, send me your drawings and stories to jojonome at gmail.com and also check out the website there's lots of Jojo Gnome books and other free audio podcasts so till next time keep enjoying stories bye